Today we get back on the 30 day series and this month's winner was the night for the first day. We're really just going to test around a few different builds, a few different play styles and overall should be a lot of fun. We'll get into doing a lot more build videos throughout the 30 days after day one. But for today, I just want to sit down, play the night and just feel it out for a bit. Big map. One survivor already on a gen. Got two survivors looking around like goobers. Howdy. That, okay, I was like, that didn't connect. Crazy. We gotta take it. Cool. Just not long enough range. Howdy. Thank you. Let's kind of keep playing around at the moment. There we go. I should see them through the hole. Maybe not. I'll take it though. Works for me. One survivor here. I'll brine this gen in a second. Thank you. That might tag them up top. No, crazy. There was double toolboxes. You think you're one out of the one out of ten? Maybe. Thank you, buddy. Nice dead hard. They're healing up and I got all of them over there. Like all the gens are over there, so. Come on. Nice. Whoa. You are laggy, my dude. Wow, you are insanely laggy. He's gonna jump forward here in a second. Okay, good. A little too laggy for me. This map is going away. I thought going one was the no. They're both technically going. There we go. I just have the bad angle on it. This is why I like having the extra meters to play with. I'm gonna have to get a little bit better at uh, knowing the real spacing. That's why I took off that add-on. Cool. The Jailer has longer reach, so we should be able to play around with this a little bit better. There we go. There she is. I'll chase for a, yeah, a while. Nice. Cool. So far, so good. All right, let's see where they're at. See if we can keep getting some plays with our power. We haven't had to really use it in chase too much. I got one over there who's healing. You probably put up the boon. The problem is that they see me. I need to try and play this as a stealth if I can.
Interesting. He actually just kind of left. I'm guessing he saw me a while ago. And made a play on that. That's the problem is that night is just so easy to see coming. He's just he, he's a big hulking dude kind of moving at you, you know? There we go. Okay, maybe a play here. Yeah, he knows. He's just going to hold it forward because why wouldn't you? Howdy. Think you can make knockout work with the guards? Well, the guards don't trigger knockout. So, probably not so much. Hey, buddy. Working on a uh, a stealth build would work too to give a little bit more value to uh, everything. Boom. All right, they went over back to that gen. Ooh, nice. We caught him. Even better. A uh, big win for me. Nice try. And have fun. There we go. And we got her. Cool. We could maybe test out Strider and see how that feels too, by the way. Might be an idea to do while we're uh, chasing survivors. Nice. The assassin got her. Hold on. One of the few times we'll actually do that. I saw you, yeah. Cool. He's over here somewhere. Well, he was. We'll take her up for now. Cool. And freebie. We got the assassin coming up here soon, so we can maybe play around any tile with the assassin. Make it work. Cool. We'll use that haste effect, hopefully to good value here. Nice. That haste actually kind of came through there. All right, there you go. They are back there getting healed up. I have to get close enough to make that work. There we go. That should hit him. Nice. I actually got Fang. There goes life. I didn't want to swing and maybe risk it. This works out. Easy to tap. Maybe in a locker. Here he is. Hey, buddy. With Face the Darkness, because you can always send your unit there to annoy the survivor afterwards. But you definitely want to do that with the add-on, right? You're going to want to do that with the extra range, which is kind of the problem. So I'm trying to avoid that for today, but I do have that on my list. Definitely not what we want for this build. But the idea is to be pretty mobile and keep moving and keep in chase. So once we find our first chase, it should be pretty 
like uh, action packed. We already got two survivors here. One moving away, one going to the left. Nice. Cool. The haste effect will help out here. Don't mind if I do. We just gotta hold it forward. Hi. She was waiting. No one else is around. Crazy. We'll at least get her on the hook then. I know what gen they're probably on. It's one of the two back there. We might lose one gen here though. Let's find out. Let's go and break that. She's already left. Cool, there we go. That's on nobody. Crazy. Not what I wanted, but it'll, it'll do. Now I'm kind of committed. Darn. This is what I was trying to avoid. There we go. Nice. This works. A little unfortunate it is our... Obsession, but that's okay. I'm gonna leave slugged at the moment because I want to kind of let this game breathe a bit And play it out it's Supposed to be a chase build so Nice Cool, there we go We can play on that pallet later Thank you That was brave Not sure what she was doing. I think Dead Dog has some of the funniest bits with Knight. Yeah, because you can hit him with the uh, on the balcony. Yeah. Where are you at? I literally cannot see on the corn. <laughs> All right, hold up. Let's do that. As long as she saves before, she's fine. She didn't. So now Carnifex, oh wow. That survivor took the hit, cool. I see, that's where we're going. All right, let's hold it forward and see what we can do. Maybe, in, yeah, Enduring's definitely not the best call. Howdy. We can't use enduring because whenever we eat a stun, we're too close to the pallet to actually drop carn effects, which is such a bummer. Hold on a second. There we go. Have him break that while we get here and then kick this. Here's where you're generally blind on core maps. It can be brutal. Nice. There we go. I'll chase for a long time. She's going to try and take a hit. That's okay. There we go. You better not make a mistake. He's going to be getting close. He's still going. He wants it. Okay. Still regressing good. 
We'll hold on to this car effects until we get into the next chase. Which, look at here. We are getting into the next chase. And sprint bursting away. Howdy. There we go. Nice. Poor her, man. She's just been tormented this round. Oh, no. Anyone else? Nope. All right. That's brutal. All right. On the road again. It was a nice try. <laughs> when Red walks through the corner, I can't see it. Yeah, it pixelizes really hard. That'll do 5%. It's more than what I actually do. Howdy. Hello. Yeah, I knew she had dead hard because she'd missed it literally every time. Hi. I heard you walking. There we go. Double hello. And here we go. I guess she gave up. Actually, we've been discussing your builds for night. Any builds we've decided no? Well, we just decided perk-wise, Enduring is definitely not the perk to go with. Hi. She didn't go for the ballot. Enduring for more info, maybe. The enduring was to make good combination, like to basically make a pseudo spirit fury. How do we get on Pokemon? Uh, Pedro, thanks so much for the follow. Oddish is your favorite gen? One Pokemon? Interesting. Hi, gamer. <laughs> oh, no. Where are you at? Cool. There we go. I'll use that haste effect real quick. Nice. Reset him, getting to chase over here. Never mind. We did actually come back here, which is kind of odd. Miss skill check, that feels bad. Smart. Nowhere else really to go here, though. Thank you. Hello. And there's hubris. Just like that. Worked out really well, actually. It was better to eat the hit with hubris and then kind of play off of that. Rather than trying to hit her twice.
Sí. Cool. Lies. Nice. Fair enough. Who's going for the save then? That's who's going for the save. Cool. We'll let him keep going for it. Damn. I should have let her uh, drop that. Got her. I'll take it. Not bad. I see. These are running over here. Is there a pal over here I can play on? Kind of. Hello. Oh. Well, isn't that a shame? Nice. She learned very quickly. Gotcha. I see. <laughs> no! She's gonna give it with me. No, she didn't. We're good. There we go. How about we just stop that for a second? She actually took the hit. Kind of surprised me. She's going to do the gen. Yeah. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh. I thought you were dead on hook, to be honest with you. Cool. Howdy, gamer. Who else did I hook, by the way? Oh, smart. She could try going downstairs, too. No. Thank you. Hit that for 5%. Walk through. See if she will drop it. Of course not. They're going to go back to the gen. They're probably not even going to try and heal. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hi. It's almost like I knew that was going to happen. And great jewel value. On the hook again. I got a three gen here. I gotta keep that regressing. Cool. As much as I want to go to the other side. Alright. Hold on. Let's at least send a unit over there to see if we can be annoying. They're probably healing over here. Yeah, they're both over here. I can't chase here, though, because Adam could be over here working on the gen. 
And if I lose the three gen, I'm in trouble. Yeah, he is too. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Got him. No, sir. Cannot allow it. I gotta come over here and see who's on my gen real quick. Ma'am, can you get off my gen? Thank you. I don't think you get anywhere. And I still get jolt on it. Cool. This is fine. Yeah, I thought so. That's why I was protecting the three gen. It was just worth to protect. Nice. Gotcha. Well, we got hubris to work one time. That's pretty cool. Can't complain about that, right? Uh, nice. And over here we go again. Corner? Yeah, we just went to the corner. Howdy. Yeah, Joel still hits that. I'm sorry. Doesn't realize I literally have a book here. Joel hit that. He moved away. Yeah, he's already ran across the map. I just gotta hold it forward and see if we can find him. Maybe I keep seeing his scratch marks. There we go. He's gone, gone. My God. Oh, they probably brought something, didn't they? Cause he immediately went to it. Nothing better than Red's chill and kill. I know, right? GGs. Aren't you just gonna take that? Hope that you fucking fight back.